morning guys and welcome back to my channel so uh, today's day two um, of the lockdown yesterday uh, was our first day of our national lockdown and what I have seen is that people take this as a real joke there's been business as usual it's like going to town on a Saturday I saw almost 300 cars on the road yesterday people not wearing masks people just don't give a shit they're just carrying on like they normally do Taxis are driving around, fully packed. So, uh, yeah, I thought people are just ignorant of what's happening around us. Uh, like I read yesterday, this is the first time you can save the world by sitting on your ass and doing nothing. And the people are still fucking that up. So, yeah. And But I must say this morning, as I was coming back from my work, since I'm an essential worker, I have to work, I actually saw people wearing masks in the cars, wearing their gloves, traveling one person in a car so it seems like maybe yesterday was just like a quick rush to get everything in place I don't know but what this video about is a little hail damage that we had a small bit of hail and uh, yeah we we got a little bit of damage like this So today's video is to show you how to do a little bit of glass management, to do it safely and to make sure you don't injure yourself when you are taking care of some glass. Let's get to it. Hi guys, subscribe to my channel now so that you do not forget. Hit that bell icon and get notified of my further uploads. Lastly, feel free to comment. Show me some love by giving me a thumbs up at the end of the video. Oh, look at this, as we are approaching my wife's car, luckily not my own car, you see glass, every what's this? It's the car's beasting that was knocked off by the hail, and uh, yeah, we'll get to the damage now. So, unfortunately, or should I say fortunately, my car wasn't too badly hit, although you can see the dents there. I've got dents all over the roof. Uh, it's one of those things, guys. Material things and all, you know. There's nothing we can do about it. A bit of windscreen damage right there. Oh, come on, I just focused on it nicely. Some windscreen damage right there. So, um, yeah. They're charging me. They're charging me. Uh, oh, look at this. Yo. It's going to cost me 4,000 Rand uh, access to my insurance to get it repaired. Ah, where the hell must I get 4,000 bucks? Hmm? Doesn't, uh, don't see any money trees growing in my yard, so I don't know how, the, how am I going to repair that. So it'll probably stay like that forever. And there you have it. Let me zoom out a bit. There we go. That's a better view. As you guys can see, Beasting is totally off. Christian Sushi. And the back window is totally fucked up. The only thing holding it together is the smashing grab that I put in. So what we're we gonna do today is we're gonna clean this area, we're gonna do glass management, we're gonna take the whole window out and clean all this shit out. Yes, there's even glass in front of the car. Wow. Well, at least it gives you an opportunity to kind of clean the whole car out, doesn't it? Since we have the kids here, we don't need them picking up glass thinking it's a nana and then eating it. So let's get the shit sorted. Always make sure, number one, that you've got the best, well not the best, but at least proper rescue gloves. So that you don't cut your hands because you're obviously going to work with your hands. And uh, you normally use something called a glass master or rip saw. And then you can start sawing the sides out, or you can actually just take the trimming out and remove the whole window. Uh, I'll just check out what if, if this one is like um, the windscreen pasted with glue. Otherwise, I'm just going to take this uh, trimming out and I'm going to take the glass out. And then uh, a nice way is um, if you have this broad insulation tape, if you don't have the smash and grab, you take some of this uh, insulation tape or salad tape or whatever probably duct tape from America 
and you tape it over the glass and you, it holds the glass in place so it doesn't fall in. If you're going to use a hammer or something to hit with a smash with, please remember to wear your safety goggles. But for now we're just going to tear out what we can tear out and we're going to put everything in a bag. Um, I think what I'm going to do first, I'll try and push everything in so that everything can fall on the back. So it's all in one location instead of trying to tear it and having glass falling all over the, the ground. And then uh, we'll see from there how much I can scoop up and put inside a plastic bag so that we can discard it. Safety first, there we go. So most of the glass is up, the window has been totally removed, it's all safe here, nothing can cut you, nothing can harm you, it's now good for a new fresh installation of a new, win new back window. Now comes the difficult part, getting all the glass out of the car. get the vacuum and then we see how much glass we can get out. Do you guys remember this? It's my kink free extension. It's almost three years later and it's still without a kink. And if you want to know how I did it, 
watch the video or click on the link on the screen that you're seeing appearing on your information cards. You'll see how I did it. As you guys can see, it's nice and clean. I got all the glass out. Um, I haven't done the front yet because we have glass even up to the front seat and even on top of the front seat, believe it or not. So, um, yeah, we uh, got most of the glass. That's the front seat. I still have to vacuum there, but here we go. Most of it is out. And this thing is still wet. Uh, I still look at this. I still have dripping water. So I hope the sun will come out a bit later today so we can actually uh, get it dry. Okay, so my next task is to cover up the back window to just protect it from getting wet and so on for the next 20 days because I don't think any of the insurance companies are open until then. So I'm going to take these two refuse bags, I'm going to put them together and join them so that we can use it to cover up the back of the car. There we go. I put masking tape on both sides to make sure that it's one big one so we're going to put it over the boot tape it on the inside and then we should be fine let's go do that and that's that the boot has been pasted all around and i've put some insulation tape everywhere there we go nice and secure Okay, first of all, sorry about the camera shots. I wasn't on the other side of the phone, so I didn't see what the camera shot looked like. I thought it was in frame, so important for that. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Remember to comment if you want to say something or ask me any questions. And uh, remember to subscribe to the channel. And once you've subscribed to the channel, remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of any of my further uploads. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.